Hey guys, in this video, I'm going to show you a bunch of companies where you can work whenever you want. They have jobs all over the world and of course you get to work from home. First company we're looking at is called Time Doctor. Time Doctor is a place where they help you improve your organization's efficiency and your productivity. This is a company where if you look at their application page or their careers page, they allow you to work from anywhere here. So they actually have a global team they have 130 people in 30 plus countries. So you're not so limited on your location here. But another thing about them is they also have people basically having the freedom to work not only where you want, but when you want. They say that you have the freedom right here to choose when and where you want to work while being able to spend more time with families or traveling. They also tell you flexible working hours here and the list of benefits. So there are multiple indicators here that you get to have your own flexible schedule and you can make it to a way that works around the type of lifestyle you want to have. They also offer paid time off, sick time off, a sabbatical, global and a diverse team, and parental leave and paid leaves of absence. So they also show many different pictures of team members all around the world. So. As far as the jobs they actually have available right now, they don't have a lot of jobs here right now, but if you were to click on one of these, you know they'll tell you more about it, of course. But with this company, um, they don't always tell you the exact pay rate on the application page, but they do offer great benefits. And again, obviously you get to work from just about anywhere and make your own hours. So because of that, as you can guess, they have a very good score from their employees. They have a 4.8 out of five star rating. 97% of people actually recommend working here to a friend. Benefit wise, they have one rating so far. It's a three out of five star rating. Um, interview wise, they have a three out of five difficulty score, which is standard. 61% positive though is a good score for the interview experience. Next, we have a company called Versa Networks. This is basically a company where um, they tell you that they can improve like network security and things like that. So they have a lot of different jobs, as you can see here, all over the world. So you see the United States, you see some other countries as well. Some of these have multiple locations. You also see like Canada, India, Germany, Malaysia, many different countries around the world here. If you look at their comments about their benefits here, this is where they have um, some feedback about how you can actually have the freedom to choose your own schedule here. We have four different comments about this in the work from home section of their benefits on their glass door page saying that you get complete freedom to choose your own schedule. So that can be obviously a really nice perk, but that's where you can find the proof of that. And as far as what it looks like to apply for a job here, if you were to just kind of click on one of these as an example, a lot of times they sort these by country. They don't have like a global application page, but they do offer a competitive package in many cases with pre-IPO equity as well. So if they were to go public, you would be able to have equity in the company and that could be worth possibly millions of dollars down the road. Now, as far as what it's like to work at Versa Networks, as far as their reviews go, they have a four out of five star rating and 69% recommend working here to a friend. Again, for their benefits rating, four out of five stars is really good as well. Their interview score is pretty standard, 3.2 out of five difficulty. They do have more positive than negative interview experiences here as well. We also have a company called InkSub, which is at InkSub.com. This is a company I've mentioned a few times throughout the years. Um, they are a fully remote and worldwide company, as you can see right here. You also have a lot of flexibility here. Now, some of these jobs offer more flexibility than others. So in certain jobs, the job listing will tell you whether you can make your own hours. So not every job that I've seen here says this. So this is just something you're gonna have to just kind of take my word for it. There are jobs here that allow you to set your own hours, but there are some that, like if you're doing customer support, you have to be available when most people would be um, trying to contact customer support. So for instance, they do have certain hours for that. But you'll just have to take my word for it. Again, they do mention flexibility multiple times um, throughout their job application page and also on their careers page. They do hire worldwide as they tell you upfront. They say very attractive working conditions for the right candidate. I don't know how 
that works exactly. 28 days paid leave per year up to 35. Opportunities for paid travel to attend work camps and other conferences. You also have long service leave after you've been with them a while, which is three months off paid. That's essentially the same thing as a sabbatical of two months salary bonus based on company growth targets. You have technology budgets, general expenses budget yearly and things like that. So they have some pretty solid benefits here. 3.3 out of five stars, 49% recommend working here to a friend. Benefit wise, they have a four out of five star rating. They don't have a ton of reviews yet, but the two that they have are both pretty good. And then as far as the interview process here at InkSub, they have a 3.1 out of five difficulty score. Again, that's pretty standard. Um, this is a pretty standard interview experience as well. Um, normally, I would say the negative side is close to 40 to 50% for most companies. Next, we have a company called Zapier. Zapier is a company that allows you to integrate a bunch of web apps and other things with each other to allow you to automate different processes. They actually have a blog post where they talk about their remote work culture here. And they tell you that you get to basically create your own schedule. Sometimes they have people who work at Zapier. They'll have some that are night owls. They'll have some that have kids and they'll work around their kids' school schedule so that they can basically take their kid to school every day. They have some people that maybe like to sleep in and then they'll work more in the afternoon and later, later at night. They have all sorts of different examples here of people who have actually worked here and then they will tell you kind of how that goes into the work culture. So they give you all sorts of different examples, again, of people who work at different times here. Like for instance, they give you an example of someone who is a senior editor here named Grace Montgomery, who had a seven-year-old son and basically structured her remote workday around getting him ready for school and being there when he's done. So she would basically, uh, for instance, wake up early, work a two-hour shift from 5 a.m. to 7 a.m., get her kid out of bed and to school, then start work again at 8.30 a.m. Her day is over at 2.30 p.m. And she can spend the rest of the afternoon with her son. So she's kind of an early riser who sets her work schedule around her son's school. Then they have another one, like a senior engineer here who sleeps in and usually starts work around 10 a.m. So he's someone who's more of a late sleeper. So you have lots of different examples here of how Zapier lets you make your own schedule here. They also allow you to apply for many different areas around the world. They're a fully remote company. They are a uh, global company as well. They have people uh, distributed all over the world and uh, they have competitive pay here. We're gonna get to that in a second. They have wellness benefits, next play program as well, hiring, retaining, growing talent. And they also have uh, per personal growth opportunities as well. For their full list of benefits, you can click on their total rewards button there. They have different bonuses. They have other benefits and perks like insurance. Um, you can work from almost anywhere in the world, flexible time off, uh, anniversary awards for how long you've been at a company like Zapier. Um, it's very rare that most companies would actually offer something like that. They have also, again, like I said, wellness. They have fam family forming uh, benefits as well if you're into that, equity, all sorts of just really nice benefits here. So. As far as uh, the jobs they have available right here, if you were to just click on one, they usually tell you upfront how much a job pays. So for instance, sometimes they'll tell you if it's in a certain region of the world. They usually don't do it by country. It's usually more like a region. Like for instance, this is the Americas. So this might be either North and South America or both. Um, and they also tell you like, for instance, right here that it pays up to 404 point two thousand dollars a year offers equity and bonuses as well and then they'll just kind of describe the job from there so lots of really nice um, perks for working at zapier 3.7 out of 5 stars and then as far as their benefit score from their employees a 4.5 out of 5 star rating obviously very good there interview score pretty pretty standard 3.1 out of 5 stars um, but they do have more positive than negative reviews next you have a company called interactive or Interaction Design Foundation, which has online UX design courses. And they have a bunch of different jobs available right now, but this is a company where um, they actually allow you to work anywhere, anytime. They tell you this right here, work from home or co-working space with self-discipline and conscientiousness. Another thing a lot of these types of companies will say at times is they focus on results instead of hours. They don't say that exactly, but they do talk about how you can work from 
Uh, you can basically work anywhere, anytime. They also focus on results. Like I said, I've seen other companies mention how they care more about results than how many hours you're working or when you're working your hours. So as far as a company that gives you a lot of flexibility, they don't seem to offer as much in terms of like insurance and 401ks and stuff like that but they give you a lot of flexibility here and I think that's why a lot of people like working here. So they'll tell you more about what they can offer right here. They'll talk about their CEO, uh, the development environment. Some of these are gonna be more job specific as you can see, um, but as far as a company with um, a work culture without a lot of fluffy titles, political agendas, corporate drama or anything like that, they talk a lot about flexibility and their culture more than they do about things like insurance, 401ks, and more traditional benefits. 3.7 out of 5 stars here. 74% recommend working here to a friend. Uh, Benefit-wise, 3.7 out of 5 stars, which is pretty good. Interview-wise, a 3.1 out of 5 difficulty score. Again, fairly average. 62% positive, though. It's a very good interview experience score. Next, we have a company called DuckDuckGo, which is a fairly popular like search engine and browser. It's kind of an alternative to something like Google or Bing or something like that. And they actually have a culture of people who work all over the world. So they tell you this right here. 200 plus people work remotely from over 15 countries. And when you actually click on a job, they will actually tell you more about their culture and how you have lots of flexibility, usually at least. Now, if you clicked on one of these jobs, sometimes they'll tell you up front how much it pays, like this one's $176,000 a year. Sometimes they may not. But when you scroll down here, if you get past the job description, they talk about how we will support you. So this is kind of like what you get for working here. So first off, remote first, and that is how they're always gonna do things. They're a fully distributed company with members all over the world. They trust you to get your work done wherever and whenever. So they tell you that right there, whenever. So you should be able to make your own hours or have lots of flexibility with your hours. Commitment to personal growth. Every team member has an annual budget of $1,250 to invest in personal growth. Leadership, different types of leaders that can help you here. And they also, again, they say team members have the full freedom and flexibility to organize their own work schedule. So again, right there is the proof that you can make your own work schedule here. And they have some high paying jobs at times, like this one paying 178,000 a year with stock options. I've seen some here as well in the past that have gone over 200,000 a year. As far as what's like to work here, 4.6 out of five stars is very good. Uh, benefit wise for DuckDuckGo, they have a five out of five star rating. Obviously a perfect score so far, even though the sample size is fairly small. 3.2 out of 5 difficulty is not too bad. And a pretty even split between positive and negative reviews. I would say pretty much all the scores on this page are fairly average. Next, we have a company called Working Solutions. This is a little bit different. Working Solutions is a better place to find like independent contractor jobs than it is for finding like full-time employment. So this is a place where you can create a profile, you can get started and get accepted for jobs very quickly here and they actually hire mostly in the United States and Canada. They've actually added a lot of new jobs recently since I checked. Um, they actually have usually like two at a time, maybe four if you're lucky. Right now they have about you know eight different jobs available. So if you're in the United States or Canada, you can actually get paid to work here as an independent contractor. So if you click on one of these, these are going to vary a little bit, but most of the time they're customer service related. They tell you like right here that you can work from home and you can also work when it's convenient for you. They actually let you schedule your own hours and enjoy the freedom of creating a schedule that works best for you. That's the exact quote that they give you right there. So this one pays only about $12 per hour. Now they have some that I've seen pay up to around 20, maybe a little bit more, but usually doesn't go over something like $20 an hour. Again, this is a great place to find contracting jobs, specifically in customer support. And this is one where you should be able to uh, sign up very quickly. They have a four out of five star rating so far, as far as working here, benefit wise, they have a 2.3 out of five score. Again, you should not expect benefits here because you're a contractor. And a lot of people say you don't really even have to interview here. It's more just like a, uh, a setup process for your profile. You take some tests to kind of prove where you're at, and then you get accepted based on the stuff that you upload and maybe a test that you take. Next, we have a company called Toggle. Toggle is a place that also hires worldwide, and they are a company that actually creates productivity tools. 
So here at Toggle, they have basically a few different jobs available pretty much any time that you check. They usually have something that they're hiring for. Right now, they're hiring a lot in the uh, Europe, Middle East, and Africa region of the world, but they do hire outside of that region. It's not just that part of the world. So if you look at their uh, their information here on their on their careers page, they've been fully remote since 2014. You have lots of freedom here. It doesn't matter when you work or how long you work, as long as you are getting things done. They tell you that right there up front, how much freedom you have to create your own schedule, as long as you're being productive. They're not worried about your hours too much. Uh, they also have things like flexible paid time off, company and team meetups, paid parental leave, paid sabbatical, laptop of your choice that is provided, home office setup budget on top of that, co-working and internet allowance, annual professional development budget, annual health and well-being budget, and regular pay review. So you could constantly get raises. Now, as far as what a job looks like here, usually they will tell you upfront how much it pays. It's usually going to be in euros, but that doesn't mean you have to be in a place that only accepts euros. It's basically just that's the, uh, the way that they tell you you're getting paid, but obviously that converts to whatever your currency is where you live. Benefits, they actually go more in depth into your benefits when you click on an application page. So they tell you right here, you have the freedom to choose when and how much you work. They only measure results. So again, they hammer home the fact that you get to have maximum flexibility with where you are and what you are doing, how often you're working, what hours you're working and all of that. They have 24 days of paid time off a year. You also have your local holidays. So that'll be based on where you live, not based on the company headquarters or something like that. You have in-person meetups, four to six weeks, paid sabbatical, depending on tenure, laptop budget up to 2,500 euros and it renews every three years. So every three years you get a new laptop. 2,000 euros budget to set up your home office and additional 300 every year after three years of tenure. 3,000 per year for co-working space membership and or service at home for internet. 4,000 euro per year contribution to use for training workshops and conferences. 2,000 euros per year contribution for any equipment or services to improve and or maintain your physical and mental health. And also support for buying tools you need to do your best work. And they give eyeglasses, for instance, as an example. As far as what's like to work here, they have a 4.4 out of 5 star rating which is very good. Benefit wise, they have a five star rating, although they don't have a large sample size yet here. Interview wise, they have a 3.2 out of five difficulty score, which as you've probably seen by now is fairly average. 60% positive compared to 27% negative is a good score as well. Next, we have a company called Close, which is a kind of a easy to use CRM built for small businesses. And this is a company that also hires and different parts of the world but also gives you a lot of flexibility and really good benefits overall paid time off and family leave is really good here you also have uh, insurance of course they pay 99 percent of all monthly premiums 401k with six percent match that's pretty much unheard of i hardly ever see anything as high as six percent company goal-based bonuses four weeks sabbatical every five years that's paid of course and then flexible working hours their team is autonomous and empowered they encourage and prioritize asynchronous work. This means flexible working hours without micromanagement and even possible four-day work weeks here, which is obviously very nice. I know a lot of people would love to have a long weekend every week. As far as the uh, actual application page, sometimes they'll tell you how much you get paid up front. At the top there, this one says, for instance, up to 200000 a year. Once you get past all the requirements for the job and everything, basically they will tell you more about benefits at the bottom here. They're 100% remote. We've also been over a lot of the other things. They go a little more in depth about some things like how the four day week works. If you were to work four days a week, you do have to take a 20% uh, pay cut. Basically, you're getting paid basically the same amount per day, but you have the option of working only um, four days a week if you want. Now, other values and all that and how they work or some other things you might wanna look over so for instance, productivity, quality, and impact, they don't track hours. They trust you're an adult and know best how to prioritize, meet your goals, and contribute at a high level. So I think people with a more entrepreneurial spirit who are more um, self-driven would do well at this company. 4.8 out of five stars, which is very good. Benefit-wise, five out of five stars, also very good. Interview-wise, three out of five difficulty, and uh, pretty even split between positive and negative interview scores. Everything on the interview section here is pretty average. Next, we have a company called We Localize. This is another one where it's more similar to like working solutions where you 
um, don't necessarily have to have an interview for a lot of their jobs, but you also are usually going to be considered a contractor or a freelancer. So at We Localize, if you go to their jobs, they have a very long list of jobs here. So they have actually rearranged this a little bit. So they now actually have some of the corporate jobs at the top. But if you scroll down some more, you'll find the ones that don't require an, an interview and don't usually require experience. So you have like the translation and localization section, anything that has to do with like AI or anything like that, localization. You have some that are on site, so you might want to skip those if you want to work from home, of course. Data annotation is another one where you can uh, get hired as a freelancer. So they have a lot of different examples here. Um, if you just to click on one of these as an example, most of the time you don't have to have experience. Most of the time you don't have to have any uh, higher education, but they usually let you make your own schedule here. They'll tell you like how many hours you can expect to work per day or per week. And a lot of times they'll say something like in this example where they say set your own schedule. So as far as what's like to work at We Localize, they have a 3.4 out of five star rating, which I would say is pretty standard. Um, benefits, you can actually get benefits, believe it or not, with some of those jobs, but it's mostly just for people in the US. They're not really known for having the greatest benefits in the world, but 2.8 out of 5 is, I would say, pre at least pretty close to average. Interview-wise, you shouldn't even have to have a formal interview for a lot of their contractor positions. We also have a company called Product Hunt. Product Hunt is a company where, as you can see on their home page, they have some like new innovative types of tech that are being created, and people upvote these different tech ideas. And what is so it's kind of like Reddit in a way where people upvote things and then the most upvoted ones get push to the top people can comment on them and things like that but it's basically just new products that are being launched and people upvote the ones that they're most interested in so it's kind of a community based site about technology so when you try to work here they actually allow you to usually set your own hours they don't always have a lot of jobs available though um, they also allow you to a lot of times work from just about anywhere in the world I believe with Product Hunt, you also have unlimited paid time off and sick leave, monthly wellness stipend, 12 wellness days. You have 100% company paid health insurance uh, for U.S. employees, 75% for dependents, 12 weeks paid parental leave and up to $10,000 fertility health benefit through Carrot, 401k retirement savings plan for U.S. employees, company laptop, work from home setup, home office, all of that stuff, 100% company paid in real life co-working in awesome places. They don't seem to have any open spots available right now, but if they do, usually they'll tell you more about like what all you get, like being able to make your own hours and stuff when you actually look at the application page. So they don't have the greatest reviews in the world overall. 2.5 out of 5 stars could be better, of course. Benefit-wise, pretty good though. 4 out of 5 stars. Interview-wise, they have a 2.4 out of 5 difficulty score, which is a lot easier than a lot of the other companies I've shown you. Um, but they do have a little more than normal uh, negative reviews. So if you're interested, you might check them out, but uh, you might want to read some of their reviews if you're interested. Next, we have a company called Smile.io. This is a place where basically you are trying to improve your business. You take your customer loyalty to the next level here. So they actually hire um, for people to work remotely here, and their perks and benefits include things like a wellness package for prescriptions, dental, massage, and more, an e-commerce credit with 100,000 plus stores. So that's kind of a unique option here. You have stock options, you have remote work reimbursement, unlimited vacation, you have flexibility. They tell you right here, you can work from anywhere and set your own hours. So they tell you that right up there um, where it says flexibility. So there's the proof you needed right there. Professional development credit as well and an enrichment fund. Now, as far as uh, where they hire, they do hire all over the world, as you can see by the map here. And as far as jobs they have available, it doesn't look like they have a lot available right now, but they do have a head of partnerships and a technical support specialist available right now. As far as what's like to work here, 4.3 out of 5 stars, which is good. Benefit-wise, they do have one 5-star rating. For whatever reason, the average isn't working yet on here. Interview-wise, they do have a 2.8 out of 5 difficulty score. And then uh, more people had a positive than negative experience applying here. We also have a company called Remote. And as you can probably guess, a company being called Remote does hire pretty much exclusively remotely. So they are a company that actually helps other companies hire people remotely around the world and take care of all that. So it's kind of an HR solutions company. 
So at the very top here, before you click on a job, make sure you read these top couple of paragraphs. They're a true global company. They do not have an office anywhere in the world. They offer flexibility to work when and where you want, which means you can plan your schedule around your life and not around meetings. They do say most of their jobs are globally remote. Job boards often require us to select a location though, so the location you see under the job tiles are for advertising purposes only. To check if a role has location or time zone restrictions, please check the practical section at the bottom of each advert. So they actually have 181 different jobs. Now a lot of these are the same job in many different regions of the world. So if you click on one of these jobs, for instance, I'll just click on this one, and you'll see the requirements, key responsibilities, all of that. And then they'll tell you like the practicals here. This will tell you that this is how they tell you where you can actually work. So that's what they were talking about is when you click on the practicals, they'll tell you if you can work anywhere in the world or if you actually have to be in a certain region of the world. So benefit wise, again, you can work from anywhere in most of these jobs and you also have lots of really nice benefits to go with that and also being able to make your own hours. So here, they tell you that you can plan your own schedule around your life. They tell you that again right here. But on top of all of that, you also get unlimited personal time, quarterly company-wide day off for self-care. You also have 16 weeks paid parental leave, mental health support services, stock options, learning budget, home office budget, and IT equipment, and budget for local in-person social events or co-working spaces. So sometimes they may tell you the pay on the job. They do tell you that right here. So make sure you read through this application page. They'll usually tell you all the things you want to know. And as far as what's like to work here, they'd be 3.9 out of five star rating. And then benefit wise at remote, they have a 3.8 out of five star rating, which is also pretty good. Interview wise, they have a 2.8 out of five difficulty score and 50% uh, positive compared to 39% negative. Not really any bad um, overall scores here. So as far as some work from home companies right now, these are some of the ones that let you work when you want. If this was helpful, please click the like button so I know what types of content you prefer. And don't forget to subscribe so you're always notified when there are new videos like these. And I'll see you in the next video.